This is code.org. Let's see what they got. The counter pattern. Ooh, this pattern is one of the most important ones in all of programming. X equals X plus one. Now what this means is whatever X used to be equal to. So the computer says, okay, X has a new value. Okay, it's going to be equal to whatever X used to be equal to plus one. So if X used to be zero, X's new value is one. And then if I run this again, it says, okay, now X has another new value. What did X used to be equal to? Well, I just said it had been, it's equal to one. So now one plus one is two. So X's new value is two. It is used to increase the value of a variable by one. You might call it the counter pattern since it can be used to make a variable that counts up. You'll use this pattern a lot, especially with draw loop. Let's see what it, what's, what that looks like. All right, so our counter is equal to zero. The variable counter is zero. Draw, background white, text size counter, hmm, well, zero. Now, text, so it's going to print out what? Counter, uh, I guess zero. And then zero, 400. Well, remember, this is the location it will print. So zero, 400 would be zero X way up here and 400 Y, which would be down here, I guess. Okay. Now what do we do? Well, now we say, hey, counter is going to be equal to counter plus one. So judging by what they just said, if counter is equal to zero and we come into this, the computer is going to say, okay, counter has a new value. Well, what's its new value? Boop. Oh, it's going to be equal to its old value. And the computer will be like, what's its old value? Oh yeah, it was equal to zero here at the top. So zero plus one is one. So now counter's new value is one. Counter's one. We hit the bottom of the loop, go back to the top, to repeat it, okay, background's white again, it blanks out, it hides what we used to have. Text size is counter. Well, counter is now equal to one. So it's no longer zero text size, it's one. It's itty bitty, but we could see it maybe. Text is going to be counter. Well, what's counter? Counter's the number one. And it's still at zero, 400. Then we hit this line again. Okay, counter has a new value. What's its new value? It's equal to what counter used to be equal to. Well, we just said we had counter equal to one. So now one plus one is, well, two. So counter's new value is two. Hit the bottom, zoop, background's white. Counter text size, well, counter's equal to two now. So the text size is two. The text would be, well, counter's equal to two. So we would print out the word, the word, the number two at zero, 400. And we hit this and, oh, counter, it has a new value. What's its new value? What counter used to be? equal to so two plus what plus one now counters value is three and we keep going so let's see what they want ah yes all right so i'm going to write some stuff here if you found this video your teacher can too if you're my student i can definitely plagiarism matters and it's super easy to detect so i like talking about code with you and i like making sure we understand it but you must write your own answer in your own words all right just to be clear when you run the program, all right, so what I think this is going to do as we just talked through, I believe counter will go up. All right, so it might not be poetry, but what I wrote, I believe counter will go up by one each time the draw loop runs. This will make the text size increase, right, because that's the text size, by one and the number printed to the screen go up by one each time the loop runs. Not exactly poetry, but that's the idea of it. Again, make sure you're using your own words. Let me hit run and see. Boom, and there we are. Increasing, increasing, increasing in size and in count. Kind of cool. I can't wait to see what we're doing with this stuff. Onward.